The following is adapted from the Countdown to the Kingdom site of Mark Mallet. In 1972, eight years into his priesthood, Father Stefano Gobi traveled on pilgrimage to Fatima, Portugal. As he was praying at the Shrine of Our Lady for certain priests who had renounced their vocations and were attempting to form themselves into associations in rebellion against the Catholic Church, he heard Our Lady's voice urge him to gather other priests who would be willing to consecrate themselves to the Immaculate Heart of Mary and be strongly united with the Pope and the Church. This was the first of hundreds of inner locutions that Father Gobi would receive over the course of his life. Guided by these messages from heaven, Father Gobi founded the Marian Movement of Priests. Our Lady's messages from July 1973 to December 1997, through locutions to Father Stefano Gobi, were published in the book, To the Priests, Our Lady's Beloved Sons, which has received the imprimatur of three cardinals and many archbishops and bishops worldwide. In the introduction of the handbook of the MMP, it says of the movement, it is a work of love which the Immaculate Heart of Mary is stirring up in the Church today to help all her children to live, with trust and filial hope, the painful moments of the purification. In these times of grave danger, the Mother of God and of the Church is taking action without hesitation or uncertainty to assist first and foremost the priests, who are the sons of her maternal predilection. Quite naturally, this work makes use of certain instruments, and in a particular way, Don Stefano Gobi has been chosen. Why? In one passage of the book, the following explanation is given. I have chosen you because you are the least apt instrument, thus no one will say that this is your work. The Marian movement of priests must be my work alone. Through your weakness, I will manifest my strength, through your nothingness, I will manifest my power, from a message of July 16, 1973. Through this movement, I am calling all my children to consecrate themselves to my heart, and to spread everywhere cenacles of prayer. Father Gobi worked tirelessly to fulfill the mission Our Lady entrusted to him. The messages that Our Lady gave to Father Gobi through interior locutions are some of the most numerous and detailed regarding her love of her people, her constant support of her priests, the coming persecution of the Church, and what she calls the Second Pentecost, another term for the warning, or the illumination of conscience of all souls. In this Second Pentecost, the Spirit of Christ will penetrate every soul so forcefully and thoroughly that in 5 to 15 minutes time, every person will see his or her life of sin. The Marian messages to Father Gobi seem to warn that this event, and afterwards a promised miracle and also a chastisement or punishment, were to occur at the end of the 20th century. Message number 389. The messages of Our Lady of Good Success also mention that some of these events will occur in the 20th century. So what explains this discrepancy in the world's timeline? I am prolonging the time of mercy for the sake of sinners. But woe to them if they do not recognize this time of my visitation. Diary of Street Faustina, number 1160. In the Blessed Mother's messages to Father Gobi, she stated. Many times have I intervened in order to set back further and further in time the beginning of the great trial, for the purification of this poor humanity, now possessed and dominated by the spirits of evil. Number 553. And again to Father Gobi she revealed. I have again succeeded in postponing the time of the chastisement decreed by divine justice for a humanity which has become worse than at the time of the flood. Number 576. But now, it seems, God delays no further. The events that the Blessed Mother foretold to Father Stefano Gobi have now begun. Thank you for supporting my channel. Please like, comment and subscribe. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.